Team Korea was handed a humbling defeat in some of the events they expected to land medals in, but it wasn't all doom and gloom. Yoon Shin gives us the highlights and a wrap-up of the day's events in Rio. Monday was a bit of a bumpy day for Team Korea in Rio, as the nation saw some disappointing results in badminton, an event for which the nation had high medal hopes. In the men's doubles, the top-ranked team of Lee Yong-dae and Yoo Hyun-sung suffered a shock defeat in the quarterfinals against the 12th-ranked Malaysian duo, losing two sets to one. And the other Korean pair, third-ranked Kim Sa-rang and Kim Ki-jung, also crashed out in the round of 16, losing to China. In the semifinal of the men's team table tennis, Korea was taken apart three sets to one by a seemingly invincible Chinese team. It was an incredibly tough match with Chung Young-sik, Lee Sang-soo and Ju Se-yeok facing three of the world's top four players. Korea still has a shot at a medal, though, as the team is set to play in the bronze medal match against Germany on Wednesday. However, things were better for Team Korea in the women's doubles badminton after it secured a semi-final berth. Beating a duo from the Netherlands two sets to one, Chen kyung eun and Shin Seung chan are set to face off against Japan in the semis. In women's gymnastics, with three Olympic golds already in the bag, America's Simone Biles snagged a bronze. The 19-year-old slipped on a flip and grabbed the beam to rebalance herself, which ended up costing her. Crushing dreams while giving hope to others. Day 10 of the Rio Olympics had lots of thrills and spills, an unpredictability that's likely to continue for the rest of the Games. Yoon Shin, Arirang News.